friends welcome to virtual learning today we are going to learn indian viewers before starting here are the ice breakers friends in our india you quite familiar with artisans different types of artisans are there here are the artisans are also called craftsmen they are creators of diverse goods and use their hands to create unique functional and also decorative items using traditional techniques now complete the web here different types of artisans are there one is given to you that is goldsmith another one blacksmith another one carpenter cobbler weaver these are the artisans keep in mind and you have to complete this web different types of artisans tailor also artisan weaver also artisans different types of uh, small things maker that is basket weaver that is also artisans so friend let us go ahead discuss with your partner the season occasion when you need these things woolen clothes of course in winter then casual clothes daily wear use then rich and silk clothes that is in parties or wedding ceremonies or something that puja or worship then colorful comfortable clothes and here uh, we wear that clothes in party or in events different types of events comfortable clothes uh, in a journey or in a travel next there are the different types of artisans first one that is a goldsmith then blacksmith potter weaver and here sculptor artisans are there here let us play a game here one word one sentence is given for you that see here one who weaves is a weaver we call that person weaver one who plays is a of course player one who sings is a singer one who dance dances is a dancer one who te teaches is a of course teacher one who cooks is a cook so this is the sentence making so practice at home and write down sentence we have often seen the pictures of gandhi ji spinning charkha on his charkha uh, so discuss the uh, reasons behind it one has given here why it is shown gandhi ji introduced charkha to our people and that is a khadi that costume khadi clothes so here to give rural people an opportunity to earn their livelihood just yes, of course to make them uh, self reliance to unite them to empower them and means here these are the things reasons behind it and that's why gandhi ji introduced charkha in our india and uh, galvanize people okay name some tools here tools of weavers weaving one type of that weaving thing that weaving clothes need to loom loom is uh, instrument for weaving then again here uh, some needles are there uh, needles also that is instrument of uh, weaving then some combs then some sticks bamboo sticks also that is we use for weaving uh, for example as the woolen sweater that is weaven with the help of sticks then here name the types of yarns used by weavers means different types of yarn that is used by the material first one linen material second cotton material that is uh, using the charkha of spinning that khadi type or cotton then woolen woolen material woolen also and silk also that is uh, particularly uh, we got from silk om so silk also these are the yarns types of yarn and with the help of viewers view so friends today we are going to learn indian viewers sarojini naidu here on your screen was a political activist 
he has composed this poem it is very small and beautiful poem only three stanzas are there and in that three stanzas she, de- she has depicted the life span or the life cycle of human being now let us learn about sarojini naidu she are born in 1879 up to 1949 she was political activist feminist and the first indian woman who became the president of indian national congress she was an important figure in india's struggle for independence sarojini naidu's work as a poet earned her the sobriquet of nightingale we called her nightingale of india uh, later she became the governor of the united province in 1947 means she was the first governor of india free india becoming the first woman to hold the office of governor in independent india now here indian viewers is a short poem where the poet talks about three types of garments means here clothes that the viewers view at three particular times of a day each stanza of the poem represents the three important event of human life that is birth childhood adulthood that is young youth and death finally old age the colors mentioned in the stanzas are very significant as they indicate the moods related to the event now friends let us learn about this poem and the colors and the Uh, image imagination of poet or it is dialogue form poetess asking poetess asking question to viewers see here the poem this is the poem only these three stanzas are there this one first stanza here we will read first viewers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay blue as the wing of halcyon wild we weave the robes of a newborn child second stanza viewers weaving at fall of night why do you weave a garment so bright like the plumes of peacock purple and green viewers we we weave the marriage bells of a queen now see here the last one viewers weaving solemn and still what do you weave in the moonlight chill white as feather white as and white as cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud see friends here only three stanzas are there and some hard words that is on your left side halcyon that is a bird kingfisher bird which has a bright colorful plumes here plumes soft feathers and last one shroud that is the cloth which is used uh, to wrap dead body is here last final stage that is uh, we can say kafan also so friends let us learn about this poem we have just read now see the explanation one by one first stanza viewers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay now first viewers weaving at break of day in starting of day early in the morning and poetess ask question to viewers means what you are weaving why do you weave a garment so gay garments means here a cloth gay means here very beautiful bright blue as the wing of halcyon wild and how that garment is blue as the wing of halcyon halcyon king fisher bird and like the feathers of king fisher means bluish wild we view the robes of a newborn child an answer given by viewers that is what they view the robes of newborn child means a cloth that is for newborn child it's a frock or something that's a small cloth that for use for newborn child it's very simple answer friends in this four lines is starting break of means starting of our life break of day means this is the symbolic meaning our day starts means it is a break our journey starts life's journey starts to newborn child means from childhood means birth here it refers birth is the first phase of life and in the first phase of life that is very happy that's why 
very gay so gay beautiful and here do as wing here simile figure of speech is also used here simile also alliteration also we will see later on in a one slide so this is the starting sanja or the first stage of life here the next one second sanja we were swimming at fall of night why do you view a garment so bright poetess once again asks questions to viewers they are weaving and what they are weaving at the fall of night now at the fall of night means uh, after evening night will come and in that night fall of night they are weaving and why do you view a garment so bright in that evening also in night also they are weaving garment and that garment is so bright very beautiful and like the plumes of peacock and how it is like the plumes of peacock peacock here peacock we know that peacock plumes of means here feathers of peacock means green and purple purple and green that purple and green these two words that symbolize life green life and purple that is the veins color of our veins blood so here we view the marriage veils of a queen now what the answer given by givers they are weaving marriage veils marriage veils means a costume for bride costume for marriage for bride and for of a queen so here marriage symbolize youth is this period fall of night and here we people means human pe human being work very hard is a full of full pledge we are youthness and we work responsibilities are there and in that responsibilities we accept we marry oh. we, we just marry and we take responsibility means here marriage wells refers to responsibilities here refers to youthness that's why queen of for a queen so in this stanza this stanza whole stanza refers to youth means responsibilities that's why marriage so very simple it is here the next one once last stanza we were swimming solemn and still what do you view in the moonlight chill white as a feather and white as cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud once again poetess ask question they are weaving and now how they are they are solemn and still means they are very solemn calm and quiet seriousness is there on their face and seriously they are working when they are working now moon the moonlight chill means where uh, midnight midnight is there night is there moonlight is there very chill cold environment is there and in such a environment they are weaving with serious face and what they are weaving here what do you view here poetess asked this question in two stanzas poetess asked why do you view means there only why wh question why was there and now here what what do you view means answer that is from viewer she want she wants means poetess wants answer from viewer white as now white as feather and white as cloud means here the cloth that is very white like feathers of birds and cloud that is of white cloud means here once again simile figure of speech is used here alliteration also used here interrogation is also used here so see here white as feather as white and white as cloud we view a dead man's funeral shroud and what is the answer we view means viewers they are viewing dead man's funeral shroud means here last part of our life that is the last page of our human life that is the death and while a person died we just cover wrap that person in that cloth that cloth is known as shroud we can say in hindi kafan also so last that's why they they are serious solemn and still the same meaning words also use here solemn and still means very calm and quiet seriousness is there on their face and night is also very chill moonlight so here friends we have completed our three stanzas very nice poem it is now here the brainstorming activities first one 
discuss with your partner about the following occasions weaving knitting tailoring and embroidering weaving you know that about the weaving that clo clothes or something knitting also knitting of sweater or something muffler or something or uh, your cap of a little boy tailoring you know that these are the uh, occasions and these occasions means here uh, so many people they works on these things we say them artisans embroidering it is also work work on that dress or work on sarees that is known as embroidering so we have to discuss and you have to write uh, short note type in your homework notebook now second question discuss the various products made by weavers in the poem now various products only three products they made first one that is the uh, robes of child newborn second that is the marriage veil of queen that girl and last one that is the final cloth that is the shroud so here are three types of clothes and three different uh, times of a day break of day fall of night and midnight moon moonlight so you have to write in your notebook now see here the words in the three stanzas use here uh, poem mention different types of a day complete the table it's a very easy time of day early morning late in the evening and cold night now words and phrases break of day that is given to you now late evening fall of night cold night that is moonlight now here weavers work weavers weave ropes weavers weave ropes for newborn child late in the evening means fall of night they weave that is the marriage veils and last that is the shroud dead man's cloth here we have completed this one now this table is very easy also the poem reveals the three phases of life i already told you that fill in the blanks with the fillings of that uh, uh, colors appropriate to the phases of li life phases of life one is done for you here see a newborn child youth and old age three uh, phases given color blue first one blue and second here youth that is purple and green in old age that is white as white as cloud and feathers of birds then filling hopes and expectation blue colors means starting of life that is hopes and expectation purple and green that is uh, once again life represent life responsibilities that is marriage at that time youthness and last one that is the here uh, last color that is white color here the end of our journey our life the thing and there we were we are very uh, solemn and steep so in this way we have completed this one now fourth one the viewers view in the chill moonlight what they are their shroud funeral shroud definitely that is the last cloth dead man's cloth now regard the two words used to describe the viewers in the last stanza here also state their importance two words that is solemn and still in seriousness is very important last stanza that refers to the final stage of our life that is the end of our life that's why seriousness is there then again uh, next one express your view about the present condition of viewers now the present condition of viewers is not good because we know that so many machines are there we replace that things no one is using khadi or no one is using that handmade things handicraft so that's why their condition is very poor or down then what we have to do to improve their condition uh, in next question describe in your own words the steps or measures that can be taken to solve the problems of the viewers now here this type of questions will be there for your personal response questions so you have to write what measures uh, you will promote khadi use khadi with the help of student we will just uh, means organize a campaign we run a campaign we introduce khadi to people importance of khadi and we use the handmade things that is a handicraft craft work so in this way we promote in this way we promote we uh, make people aware about these things and try to improve their conditions okay these are the measures 
you have to write in personal response type questions that will be for two marks express your own views and opinions from the viewers point of view now viewers point of view here once again a table is there it is a completion activity for two marks such type of activities will be there so stanza first second and third only three stanzas are there activity done by viewers in first stanza robes for a newborn child in second stanza marriage well for queen and in third stanza that is a dead man's cloth that is a shroud and viewers here views and opinion about in the point of view of viewers viewers feel uh, how they feel happy joy gay because it's the starting of life newborn child that's why they were happy and break of day early morning now second stanza that is how they feel that is the marriage so that's why once again purple and green uh, viewers feel that they were uh, giving marriage veils that's why that is also responsibility and this point of view third one that is the last they were serious calm and quiet solemn and still and they were giving that shout dead man's shout and that's why their expressions or the seriousness that depict on their faces so here friends we have completed up to this question 3 pick out the rhyming words from the poem it's so, so easy you can pick out the rhyming words also write down in your activity whatever the remaining activities are there you have to complete in your homework notebook so friends here figures of speech now first one figures of speech here the simile i have given only examples simile means where the words as and like is there comparison is there using the words as and like so simile is there blue as the wing of halcyon wild here halcyon blue as means here simile like the plumes of peacock purple and green like word is used for uh, to describe or the here a peacock's plumes of peacock purple and green like that marriage veil so here simile is there white as feather and white as cloud once again simile as as word is used here next figure of speech that is alliteration viewers weaving at break of day now weaving wo wo sound that is here w that represent wo so this sound repeated we weave so repetition of the sound in a quick succession that we can say that is alliteration next figure of speech that is metaphor now in metaphor i have given this example viewers weaving at break of day at break of day friends break of day means the starting of the first page of human life so it is metaphorically described break of day means here the starting of birth starting of our life so here it is metaphor here in this example break of day is metaphorically used for the birth of or the first page of life so here that's why metaphor now second one we were swimming at fall of night here is also here in this example fall of night is metaphorically used fall of night metaphorically used important second page of life here we work very hard in that adulthood we work very hard there are so many responsibilities and that's why fall of night sometimes that we also means youth people young people they work till midnight also so here metaphorically use metaphor is there once again now next figure of speech that is inversion now here inversion means here the prose order is not correct so you have to give correct order is this in this figure of speech we have to make that sentence in a correct prose order means as per the english uh, construction so subject plus verb plus object plus complement now we are see here the first example blue as the wing of halcyon wild means here words are not correct in a correct order now the correct order is the wing of halcyon wild is blue means here the, it this is correct order so friend you have to keep in mind for this figure of speech you have to just give the correct order what do you view in the moonlight chill now the here the word order is not correct and what is the correct order what do you view in the chill here this one what do you view in the moonlight see once again the correct order is what do you view in the chill 
moon light here this is the example climax now we were swimming at the fall of night we were swimming at break of day means here the words are arranged in a ascending order means when words are arranging in a ascending order means their tone importance from low to high so in this at that time figure of speech climax is there we were swimming so let me here these words example these examples the words are arranged in a ascending order now tautology another figure of speech here friends the same meaning words when used in a one line at that time we can say it is a tautology now which words are there we were swimming solemn and still here the words solemn and still they are the same meaning words so that's why tautology next one repetition repetition means here white as feather and white as cloud here the word white is repeated here the word as is repeated so here in this example the words white and as are repeated that's why here repetition so friends we have seen this figure of speech here in this poetry so we have to write figure of speech uh, then uh, recognition for one, half marks and for explanation that is for half mark so i hope so you will uh, go once again read the poem thank you very much have a nice day take care